I was so thankful he didn't get ejected from his truck because there was no way for me to stop at that point, obviously. My truck was fully loaded. Ontario, Canada, British Columbia. The driver was caught two hours later. Surprised me when they were not DUI. After hitting me, the person nearly head-on hit the sportage behind me. Empty truck and trailer. No abs. Tailing into town and was struck in the rear fiberglass fender. Surprisingly, did way more damage to his Dodge than my fender. The car that spun out caused themselves to almost have an accident because they were tailgating and couldn't react properly. scared the shit out of me when he came out of nowhere. Wilton, North Carolina. The crazy person was trying to make me hit them. They were mad because I was taking too long to pass a car, but they didn't get it. The car I was trying to pass kept speeding up and slowing down, making it difficult to pass. I had to risk a speeding ticket to pass a car, but then I get this idiot brake checking me. State trooper told me if I hit them, they would have gotten charged with accident. I am 70,000 LBS. I-70 Colorado.
I wonder what was on his mind. It wasn't driving maybe texting or reading. All I can say he was lucky. Ever was tailgating me as I was passing two other trucks. As I traveled further to leave safe space between me and the trucks I passed, a car chose to not wait and cut me off. He chose not to stop. I called 911 immediately, staying on the phone with the state police, informing them of out location. The driver was pulled over as he took the F-55 north exit from I-40 East. He was cited a ticket for the incident. Cumberland, Massachusetts. Today, my road range pegged out. This guy was Tess, driving a new Mustang and was speeding in wet road salesman. That was the passenger to me. He kept telling the guy to slow down, but he wouldn't. Oh, and to make matters worse, he took off running after the accident. Forgot to pull parking brake. Cool, I almost killed myself. throwing chunks of rubber 20 f into the air. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I am driving along, listening to the Howard Stern show, when all of a sudden... This guy cuts in front of me, slams on his brakes and signals for me to pull over. I'm thinking something is wrong with my truck. This man is screaming that rocks from my truck are hitting his windshield. To prove my case, I open my tailgate to show him that I am empty. Open mouth, insert foot old man. Fuck you too, Tony.
Ashland, Virginia. takes out stop sign and tree in Walmart parking lot before leaving the scene. Davenport, Florida. by a semi-dump truck on a surface road between traffic lights. A black sub drifted into the passenger side steering tire of the semi which sent him into the side of my truck and then into oncoming traffic. Thankfully, the lights were red so traffic was already stopped and no one was injured. Harrisonburg, Virginia. Incident happened on I-81 southbound near mile marker 250.85. Ramp for exit 151 in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Ever the GMT 900 truck made it out before the truck busted into flames. Scary night but glad we were there to be first on scene and help the guy. Rainy days are dangerous. Car hauler runs out of lane and gets pissed. So after all this stupidity, he ends up broke down a few miles later. Instant karma. At West Dallas, Texas. Car brake, check me twice. The shaking is because the truck's collision avoidance kept in. Laramie, Wyoming.
truck is still rolling fine. We exchanged info with State Patrol, took a lot of photos, and went about our big. accident on US-101. Never heard anything after, so no updates. Happened KLB miles north of Selena K in the southbound lane. Illinois, Chicago. Truck on the opposite side of the road lost control while passing another truck, clipped the dirt, and it pulled him down and over. He might have been distracted or sleepy. Slap the car in front. Driver was alright, no injuries, he fell asleep behind the wheel. You may believe that you can stop yourself from falling asleep when you are driving drowsy, but you can't. You may not even know you're dozed off. Omaha, Nebraska. Trucker was paying attention and not driving distracted. Therefore, he avoided potential crash with the pickup. This should be a good reminder to adjust your speed to safely match weather conditions. Eldridge, Alabama, drunk driver in front decides it would be a good idea to stop in the middle of the right lane and turn hard left to cross the median. He didn't see me coming up behind and turned into my truck. I'm told he's going to be okay, but I haven't heard anything since they took him in the ambulance. Don't drink and drive. Truck in front lost control on 140. Gala, New Mexico. I bet he needed a clean pair of pants after that. Good job, driver, keeping it upright all the way across the road. Speeder decided that if he pulled in close to me in my lane, he would be out of a ticket. He was very wrong.
A few people blamed me for the collision and stated I shouldn't have been camping in the left lane. The longer video shows that was not the case. I wasn't ticketed. The other driver was. The other company's insurance company paid for the damages to our truck. Oncoming truck hit my mirror. Driver swerves in front of me and gets hit. Driver was either falling asleep or impaired, caused us about a five hour delay. Driver got three tickets. Okay, hit and run. Inch upper lane change. Driving while distracted. Chevy driver didn't want to wait. Weighed 79,400 lbs. Couldn't slow down in time as you can see. I was only doing 68 in a 72. Her insurance company paid for the damage. The biker was fine, he also subbed to my channel, Living Life as a Pickle. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania.
She showed me the middle finger. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Thank you, Arizona State Police. Phoenix, Arizona. This incident happened July 2, 2022 in the intersection of Interstate 10 Loops 303 in Phoenix, Arizona. As much as I could tell, there were no injuries or contact with other vehicles, luckily. Watch your mirrors and keep your abs system working. Superior, Montana. Swift driver's side swiped me and crashed my mirror. Driver was sighted and found at fault. No injuries. Indianapolis, Indiana. Wisconsin, Janesville. No serious injuries. Both drivers were okay. I don't know why he did that, but he also left the scene of the accident. Surrey, BC. Trucker admitted fault. He said he didn't see the car. I-80 Wyoming.
26 minutes later. instant justice here. The driver off the Chevy pickup truck got a ticket for reckless driving. He's lucky he didn't get rear-ended by a semi-truck. Arizona. Attempts to make me wreck him. California. Keep your mind on the road. We see this too often as truck drivers. Boonville, Montana. Traveling east on I-70 near Boonville, Mo, an Amazon Prime contractor, American Trucking LLC out of Louisville Kai was on shoulder, going approx. 15 MPH pulling onto highway traffic, going 70 MP. Reaction time was limited to avoid rear-ending his trailer, and moved over partially to avoid him hitting me and me hitting him. Had the air horn blasting while alongside the driver, but he refused to get back on the shoulder until after he hit my passenger side mirror. I pulled off to the shoulder for him to do the same, but you see in the video, he chose to continue onwards. Any into on the red freighter with the logo American Trucking LLC Louisville, Kai would be helpful. St. Paul, Minnesota. Des Moines, Iowa. Window vent got to middle of my window flapping real loud.
driver from same company can't drive. Pushed me out of my lane without looking or on purpose, who knows. By my perspective, I could barely see the top of the car. I got within 15 of hitting him. I could see the terror in his little girl's eyes burned into my memory. Braking and lane change is never a good idea. I hit the brakes while driving too fast. He started to slide and laid on them harder which make it worse. In a slide, let off the gas and get the engine in neutral or clutch. And if you can, then steer into the slide. He had his family in there and now he has to wait to get hauled out of the mud.